Welcome to another Tin Dog Podcast. The problem with recording so many shows in advance and is that I miss out on the news. There's don't think there's ever been a news section unless there's been a major event like Liz Sladen passing or Matt Smith being announced as the next Doctor. On those nights I've tried to get a podcast out that very evening. But in general, I tend to record in advance and release these at a steady rate. And as I approach show 300, I'm beginning to regret some of that. Because this Christmas, we lost some very, very good people. Now, admittedly, they died of old age. But it doesn't stop them being great and momentous figures. Patrick Moore and Jerry Anderson both passed away this Christmas, and yet I only get to discuss it in a podcast that could even be broadcast at some point in February. It just makes me come across as sloppy as a podcaster. I met Patrick Moore and I met Jerry Anderson, both very different people in very different fields, but I held them both in very high regard. Out of the two of them, Jerry Anderson was the man who took himself the most seriously, a man responsible for some of the greatest science fiction series in the world, and yet cursed with a son who loved Doctor Who. I met him while I was working at the animation studios in Cosgrove Hall in Manchester. I was helping out in the props department when Jerry Anderson came in. He was finishing off production on one of his considerably lesser known series, Lavender Castle a stop-frame animation effort that's considerably better than people make out. Cosgrove Hall at the time were experimenting with standard 3D animation, i.e. puppets, maquettes, and some computer-generated stuff thrown in. It both worked and didn't, after all it was in its infancy. And Jerry Anderson walked into the room where I was, because by trade I was a prop builder, a model maker, a man responsible for tiny, tiny things. He came in and He looked around and he smiled and he laughed. This was a man who I wasn't expecting to walk into the room. He was a producer. They live upstairs. They very rarely visit. This guy was a creator, a legend. Okay, I'd heard from other people that he was grumpy. But you know what? If you'd lost the rights to Thunderbirds, you'd be grumpy too. You'd be grumpy like Raymond Cusack. Anyway, he looked around the room and smiled and said, You know, technology changes. We get latex, we get finer cameras. I move from puppets to people. And yet one thing always stays the same. The prop building room always looks the same. It's always people in jeans, covered in dust, working away at tiny desks on tiny little projects, all concentrating, and all with music on that's just a tiny bit too loud. All dealing with really dangerous chemicals. He looked at the room and this was was in the 90s. He said this could be at any point in the last 40 years. The prop room never changes. And then he left. And that was the one time I ever met Jerry Anderson. I didn't get his autograph. I didn't really get to talk to him. But it was nice to be there. Meeting Patrick Moore was even more obscure. At the time I was working in a bookshop in Manchester. And he'd come for an evening's talk. The management, being understanding chaps, had refused to let me leave my post so I was busy serving customers at the front door, while three flights away, Patrick Moore was giving a talk, a completely sold-out talk, about one of his new books. In the end, I couldn't take it much longer. I waited till the end of his talk, pegged it upstairs, and managed to grab an autograph. My birthday and Patrick Moore's birthday is the same day, although, I hasten to add, not the same year. It's also the same birthday as the Tin Dog podcast, but sharing a few moments with the man who had mapped the moon well enough for the Apollo to land on it. That was just wonderful. These are broken, stolen moments. They're nothing worthy of comment. But these people are my heroes, and I met them for moments, and that's all. They would never remember me, and there's no reason for them to do so. But they will be missed, because their talents and what they brought to being British 
is enough to make anyone proud. So thank you, Jerry, and thank you, Patrick, for both producing some of the finest television moments in my life. Yes, I didn't get to discuss Doctor Who, but who cares? These people are true giants, genuine human beings, flawed and yet still brilliant, actual real-life heroes. Not too many of those left. Anyway, I'll be back shortly to talk about, well, Doctor Who, I think. Until next time, be seeing you. You have been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Doctor Who and its associated shows are all copyright and property of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Hoostrology the Book is available directly from Telos Publishing and from Amazon. For personal Hoostrology readings, visit hoostrology.com.